Hi, Congress passes President Biden's stimulus package, buy now, pay later stocks take a hit, and Australia's travel sector gets a government lifeline. Here's your graph for week that was. The US Congress passed President Biden's 1.9 trillion US dollar stimulus package on Wednesday night. Almost all key inclusions were passed, but the Senate rejected a move to more than double the minimum wage. Bitcoin bounced back this week from $49,000 US dollars on Monday to $58,000 US dollars by Friday in a broadly accepted risk fueled rally. Gaming retailer GameStop soared again this week, this time off its own merit, after it announced its plans to transform into a tech business. Locally, the ASX closed higher on Friday, driven by the tech sector. The index is 0.83% higher for the week. The Australian government announced a $1.2 billion rescue package for the struggling aviation industry, including 800,000 half-price domestic airfares. On the back of the news, Flight Centre, Webjet and Qantas stocks all surged. And buy now, pay later stocks took a hit in a widespread tech sell-off, linked to rising bond yields. Competition in the sector also intensified, with PayPal announcing the launch of its new buy now, pay later offering. Thanks for joining Graffa's weekly update. For more news from Graffa, please subscribe to our app.